We want to welcome in Brian Kynard of Lighthouse Realty. He has been around our busy town during this spring break season. Brian, uh, the thing's really starting to build as we get ready for Heritage Week and all that's going on around there. But uh, plenty of ways to, to not only uh, sample the town, but to get around to sample it to now with the, yeah. with the trolleys. <laughs> Man, you, you teed that one up pretty yeah. good. That's right. Uh, if you, if you <laughs> want to get off the bike pass and get out of your car, uh, you can jump on the Island Breeze Trolley Service. It started up on April 1st, and we'll run through mid-October. Uh, it runs from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, Sundays through Thursdays, uh, and then they extend those hours until midnight on Friday and Saturday. More stops now, which is uh, a good thing. A little bit different route. It yep. isn't just uh, Caligny to Shelter Cove and back and forth, uh, that, that's which right. should help. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to go from uh, Shelter Cove. There's some stops over by the new university. Mm -hmm. uh, I was over at my sister's condo on Forest Beach the other day uh, and saw some stops uh, on some of the side cut through cut through streets there as well uh, and you can actually download an app this year as well through Apple and Google Play. Okay uh, best way to find out the rest of uh, the information on all that. The uh, website. website scrolling across the bottom yep. uh, islandbreeze.com. <laughs> all right that'll take care of that. Uh, Shelter Cove has been it just they just keep adding new things and different things going on at Shelter Cove Town Center besides being able to catch the bus uh, you can stay there. And see the whole <laughs> yeah lot. you can go you can go catch a bite uh, you can go do a little shopping at sure. any of the great restaurants uh, excuse me great shopping at the restaurant shop at the shops uh, and then also, I shop at the restaurants. You like to shop yeah, there you That's go. where I do my shopping. <laughs> the the Carolina Cruisers Car Club, uh, they're having a monthly cruise in over there. They do it on uh, the Shelter Cove Lane back there overlooking the Broad Creek and the Shelter Cove Community Park. Uh, they'll do this every month. Uh, this month is on Thursday, April the 25th. Uh, and the uh, more information on that, sheltercove.com. Uh, and that's where you can also find out about what the uh, what Art League has going on and some other folks there. Uh, uh, the, th that's just one of the go-to sites, isn't it? That Shelter is, Cove? yeah. The sheltercovetowncenter.com is just one of the go-to sites. And then the town, uh, through their cultural arts uh, affairs, <laughs> I've got tongue twisted today. Uh, they also have a great website as well with all local music and uh, upcoming events too. All right, let me change hats for just a moment. You, right. of course, are the president of the Hilton Head Area Realtors Association. Uh, Heritage Week and the weeks around it may be the peak of, of the season, or, or is it really just the start of the season? I, I would say it would be the gas on that fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, we, we've washed the pollen off our cars, hopefully with this rain we're getting this week, yeah. and with the Heritage and Easter spring break, that definitely signals our kind of summer and spring tourist season. Uh, and with that, definitely a, a lot of folks looking for real estate. Volume good, volume bad, what's out there? You know, d depending on what you're looking for okay. and where you're looking, uh, we definitely have something for everybody on the island and throughout the, the, the area. Uh, you know, on Sp island specifically, since we're talking about you know Hilton Head events right now, mm -hmm. uh, definitely you've got that inventory that's been renovated and updated and, and that, that could use some personal touches. Uh, but I think that there's something for everybody. Are you seeing both kinds of people looking for homes? Absolutely, yeah. I was actually just out some, yeah. with some folks this weekend that would love nothing more than a renovation project and meeting with some folks in a, in a few days that would uh, love nothing more than a turnkey property so that they can just come down and start enjoying it. Uh, seeing a trend one way or the other over the past few years? Uh, which way it's, which I think our inventory, just it. by virtue of us being a 30-ish year old community uh, and kind of where we're at transition-wise, you're going to see a lot of renovations going on. I think where uh, a positive, really, really positive note is you look at the improvements, you know, like Hilton Head Plantation, uh, Big Spring Lake Pool improvements a couple years ago. Port Royal Plantation, the the town, Sea Pines. You just you have a capital improvements coming in across the island, uh, and I think that just shows that the communities, uh, the POAs, mm -hmm. and the businesses believe in our island and what we've got going on here. Good stuff, Brian. Thanks for putting on both hats for us. <laughs> I appreciate that, Brian Kynard of Lighthouse Realty. When we come back, we'll talk about a new and exciting project to protect our island's Gullah heritage, and we'll tell you what might be going on in a corner of sea pines away from the madness of Harbortown. Stay with us.